Hello, my dear students. This is Mr. Shaima Gharib, and today's lesson about subtracting fractions with unlike denominators or different denominators. Let's start by revising some rules before you watch any video. First, you have to sit in a quiet place. You should have your pen and a piece of paper to take notes and to solve questions. You should pause the video after each question, then you try to answer on your own. Then you play the video to check your answer and to understand the question in case you get a wrong answer. Are you ready? Let's start. Subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, we are going to follow the same rules exactly as adding fractions with unlike denominators. So the first step, we have to change the denominators to be the same by using equivalent fractions. Then we subtract normally. Then we simplify our answer to the simplest form. Then we change the answer into a mixed number if it is an improper fraction. Now let's see an example. If I have 6 over 5 minus 3 over 7. So I need to change the denominators to be the same first as we said. So I need to think of a common multiple between 5 and 7. And it's better to choose the least common multiple, so which is number 35. So I will change the 5 and the 7 into 35. So the 5 to be 35, I will multiply by 7 up and down. And the 7 to be 35, I will multiply by 5 up and down. Then the new fractions will be 6 times 7. 42 over 35, and the second fraction will be 15 over 35. Then I can do the subtraction normally. 42 minus 15 equals 27, so the fraction will be 27 over 35. Is this clear? Can I simplify this fraction? No, then this is the simplest form. Now let's look at this fraction here, 8 over 9 minus 2 over 4. So in order to change denominators to be the same, I need to think of a common multiple or the least a common multiple between 9 and 4. So I can change both of them to be, what do you think what is the least a common multiple between the 4 and the 9? Yes, it is 36, so the 9 to be 36, I will multiply it by 4, up and down, and the 4 to be 36, I will multiply it by 9, up and down. Then the first fraction will be 32 over 36, and the second fraction will be 18 over 36. When you do the subtraction here, 32 minus 18 equals 14. So the answer will be 14 over 36. Is this the simplest form? No. So I will simplify the fraction by dividing up and down by 2. Then I will have 7 over 18. Can I write it as a mixed number? No, because this is not an improper fraction. Next fraction, 11 over 6, and this is an improper fraction, minus 2 over 3. I can change the 3 to be 6 by multiplying by 2 up and down. So the new fractions will be 11 over 6 minus 4 over 6. 11 minus 4 equals 7 over 6. Can I simplify it? No. Can I write it as a mixed number? Yes, because this is an improper fraction. 7 divided by 6 equals 1. Remainder, 1. Then the mixed number will be 1 and 1 over 6. Let's do more examples. 3 over 7 minus 1 over 6. So the common multiple or the least the common multiple between 7 and 6 is 42. So the 7 to be 42, I will multiply by 6 up and down. The 6 to be 42, I will multiply by 7 up and down. Now the new fractions will be 3 times 6, 18 over 42. 
minus 7 over 42. 18 minus 7 equals, yes, 11 over 42. Can I simplify it? No. Then this is the simplest form. Next example, 5 over 6 minus 5 over 8. I have 6 and 8. The least common multiple between 6 and 8 is number 24. So in order to change the 6 to be 24, I will multiply by 4. Up and down. And the 8 to be 24, I will multiply by 3. Up and down. Then the new fractions will be 5 times 4, 20 over 24, minus 5 times 3, 15 over 24. Now I will do the subtraction. 20 minus 15 is 5 over 24. So the subtraction is exactly the same as the addition. I have to change the denominators to be the same, and I only subtract the numerator and the denominator stays as this. 5 over 24, is this the simplest form? Yes, so this is my final answer. 4 over 9 minus 2 over 7. The least common multiple between 9 and 7 is number 63. So the 9 to be 63, I will multiply by 7 up and down. The 7 to be 63, I will multiply by 9, up and down. So the first fraction will be 28 over 63, and the second fraction will be 18 over 63. Now I will do the subtraction. 28 minus 18 equals 10 over 63. As you can see, remember, denominator stay the same so can i simplify this fraction no then this is the simplest form and this is the final answer let's try more examples 10 over 7 minus 5 over 6 the common multiple between the 7 and 6 is 42 so i will multiply the first fraction by 6 up and down and I will multiply the second fraction by 7 up and down. Then the new fractions will be 60 over 24 minus 35 over 42. So 60 minus 35 equals 25. Then the answer will be 25 over 42. Can I simplify this fraction? No. Then this is will be the simplest form and our final answer. The next example, 15 over 6 minus 5 over 8. 6 and 8, the least the common multiple between them is number 24. Then I will multiply the first fraction by 4, up and down. And the second fraction by 3, up and down. So the denominators will be 24, and then let's do the numerators. 15 times 4 equals 60 over 24, minus 5 times 3, 15 over 24. 60 minus 15 equals 45 over 24. Can I simplify this fraction? Yes, I can. How to simplify it? I will divide up and down by, what do you think, most numbers? can be divided by 3. If I divide it up and down by 3, I will get 15 over 8. So, is this the simplest form? Yes, this is the simplest form. Can I write it as an impro uh, it as max number? Yes, why? Because this is an improper fraction. So, 15 divided by 8, how many 8s are there in the 15? Only one 8, and there will be remainder. 7. Then the next number will be 1 and 7 over 8. 11 over 9 minus 6 over 7. I have 9 and 7 as denominators. So the least the common multiple between them is 63. So the 9 to be 
63, I will multiply by 7, up and down. And the 7 to be my 63, I will multiply by 9, up and down. So now both denominators are 63. Let's find the numerators. 11 times 7, 77. So the first fraction will be 77 over 63. And the second fraction will be 6 times 9, 54 over 63. 77 minus 54 equals 23 over 63. Is this the simplest form? Yes. Can I write it as a max number? No, because this is a proper fraction. It's not an improper fraction. Now, if I have a whole number minus a fraction, do you remember making one whole? So when you take 5, 6 from one whole, the fraction that left with you is 1 over 6. So I always complete the fraction part to one whole. So this part needs 1 over 6 to form one whole, right? So when you take 5 over 6 from the 9, the number you will get is a mixed number. So which is 1 less than the 9, which is 8, and the fraction that you have here. Let's do Checking our answer, if I have 5 over 6 plus the 1 over 6, it will give me 1 whole. 1 whole plus 8 equals 9. So these two numbers together will give me the whole number at the beginning. So again, I will erase it and I will say it a diff in a different way. I have here denominator that is number six can i write number nine as a fraction over six what divided by six gives nine so nine times six is 54 see i can rewrite number nine as 54 over six okay so if i have 54 over six minus five over six so when you take five from the 54 it will give you 49 over 6. Can I simplify this part? No, but I can write it as a mixed number. 49 divided by 6 equals how many 6s are there in the 49? What do you think? 8. So the answer will be 8 remainder 1. How to write 8 remainder 1 as a mixed number? It will be 8 and 1 over 6. Now let's see a new example. I will erase this to make the question clear. In this example, I have 40 minus 5 8, so 40 minus 5 over 8. So, as we said, the fraction part, I can complete it to be one whole. If you don't know how to form one whole using fractions, please, you can watch the video of one whole fractions before you watch this part of the lesson. So, the 5 eighths to be one whole, it needs 3 eighths. Then... The fraction part of my answer will be 3 eighths. What about the whole number? This is 40. Then I will go 1 down. So it will be 39. And what fraction should I write? The 3 eighths. Is this clear? And we said that if we added these two fractions together, the 5 eighths and the 3 eighths, I will get 1 whole. So 1 whole plus 39 gives the 40. Is it clear? Now let's see one more example. Sixteen minus 
3 over 7. So I will do it exactly the same. The 3 sevenths to be one whole, it needs 4 sevenths. And then this is, will be the fraction part. And what about the 16? I will go 1 less. So it will be 15. So the answer will be 15 and 4 over 7. Now let's have some questions together. 9 over 5 minus 2 over 3. How to do it? So denominators must be the same. So the common multiple here is 15. So I need to change both denominators to be 15 by multiplying by 3 here up and down and the second fraction by 5 up and down. Then the two new fractions will be 27 over 15 minus 10 over 15. So 27 minus 10 equals 17 over 15. This is an improper fraction, so I will change it into a mixed number as 1 and 2 over 15. The second part, 3 over 7 minus 3 over 8. So at least the common multiple between 7 and 8 is number 56. So I will change both to be 56 by multiplying the first one by 8 up and down and the second one by 7 up and down. Now I will do the multiplication and find the new fractions. So it will be the first one will be 24 over 56 and the second one will be 21 over 56. 24 minus 21 is 3 over 56. Can I simplify this fraction? No. And this is the simplest form. For the second one, I have 8 and 3. The least common multiple between them is number 24. So the 8 will be multiplied by 3 to give me 24. So I will do it up and down. And the 3 will be multiplied by 8 to give me 24. And I will do it up and down. So the new fractions will be 21 over 24 minus 8 over 24. 21 minus 8 equals 13. Then the answer will be 13 over 24. Can I simplify this fraction? No. Can I write it as a mixed number? No, because this is not an improper fraction. 20 over 7 minus 6 over 8. So 7 and 8, and we said before, that is the common multiple between 7 and 8 is number 56. So I will multiply the first one by 8 up and down, and the second one by 7 up and down to get 56 in the denominator. So the first fraction will be 20 times 8, which is 160 over 56 minus 42 over 56. So it will be 118 over 56. Can I simplify this fraction? Yes, I can divide up and down by 2. So it will give me 59 over 28. Can I write this as a mixed number? Yes, because this is an improper fraction. How many 28s are there in the 59? I have two 28s and there will be remainder 3. So I will write it as 2 and 3 over 28. 31 minus 2 thirds. We said in order to subtract a fraction from the whole number, I will just complete this fraction to be one whole so it will be one third and the two thirds makes one whole and I will go down one in the whole number then the 31 will be 30 so the final answer will be 30 and one third this is the end of our lesson today I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment and I will answer you as soon as possible. Please remember that your feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you very much and have a nice day.